Welcome to Muscle Talk with Jason. I don't know what number this is, just look at the title and that will tell you, but uh, you get to ride home with me from the gym and we chat about muscle. I have got an awesome, awesome workout concept for you today, and I'm gonna share how I applied this to today's workout, which was back, I'm filming this on Monday. Monday's always back day for me. The concept, I'm calling this Lucky Sevens Workout. Now, where did I get that name from? Well, I live in the Tampa area, and we have the Tampa Seminole Hard Rock here, the casino, and they have a couple slot machines called Lucky Sevens, and I always lose at those, but anyway, <laughs> there's a reason why I'm calling the workout that. Basically, what you're doing, and this is a very simple method, very simple and basic workout method, easy to just go into the gym and bang this out, get it done and get out, uh, but basically, you're picking three exercises, and you're gonna do seven sets of each exercise. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, that's very similar to Haney Rambod's FST7 workout, which stretches the muscle fascia, which that's an awesome program, by the way, or awesome concept, at least. And so, yeah, I mean, I kinda got the idea from that, but I'm like, well, you know, I'm on this one exercise, and why don't I just keep banging out more sets? And then I hit seven sets, I'm like, you know, let me just do this for the other, for two more exercises, because that gives me a total of 21 sets. So here's the workout, and you can apply this obviously to any body part. I wouldn't necessarily apply it to arms unless you have just a one day where you just train buys and tries, it's fine. But uh, here's how I applied it to today's workout. I started out with good old fashioned free weight barbell rows. I love that exercise. I think it's the best back exercise you can do you know, for, for building muscle mass and, you know, and for building rip muscle too. It doesn't matter what part, uh, what part or what phase you're in. If you're trying to get cut or if you're trying to gain mass, barbell rows, they're just working you know, a ton of muscles in your back. So anyway, seven sets of barbell rows. Now here's, here's what I did though. Since you're doing multiple sets, my sets weren't quite as intense, meaning I didn't go to failure. So I stayed with the same weight pretty much for everything throughout the entire workout. So for barbell rows, I stayed with the same weight, seven sets of 10 reps. Then I went over to the hammer strength high rows. And if your gym doesn't have a high row machine, you know, just do something else. Just do another back exercise, T-bar rows, barbell rows, whatever, uh, or, or dumbbell rows. So seven sets of 10 with that exercise as well. So again, I stayed with the same weight. I don't remember how much weight I used. And then the third exercise, I just did some seated rows. And I actually bumped the reps up a little bit here and did seven sets of 12 reps for seated rows. So that worked out quite well. Now, I had a tremendous pump in my lats after this workout. Man, that was awesome. So I really want you to try this. You don't have to do the same exercises that I did. You might be saying, well, Jason, you know, it's only three exercises. You didn't do any lat pull downs. Well, that's because I, I hit my back for a second time last week on Saturday, you know, and we're on Monday today. So I'll probably, I like to train back and legs. I like to hit back and legs a second time later in the week because those are your largest muscles. So it just makes sense to put, uh, you know, a little bit more effort into those muscles. I think a lot of people kind of skimp on those muscles, to be honest with you, especially, especially newbies, people just starting out. Everybody wants big chest and arms, but you really need to train your back and legs more than anything and harder than anything else. So that's just a side note. But yeah, I want you to try this, this concept. Just pick three exercises. Start out with a compound exercise. So if it was chest day, for example, you'll start out with bench press, seven sets. Then move over to another exercise. Maybe you're doing another press for chest. Uh, do seven sets of that. And then you will do like an isolated exercise. Like you could just do dumbbell flies or something like that, seven sets of that. Uh, legs you can do squats seven sets that would be tough you know do some leg extension seven sets leg curls seven sets so anyway that's the concept and i want you guys to apply that and if you have any questions about you know this routine or, or what i'm talking about here just leave a comment below i'd love to get into conversation about this stuff or it's muscle talk that's what it is so also don't forget to check out the description of this youtube channel or this youtube video i've got a link to my shop where i've got 12 week programs that you can start just go to the link in the description of this youtube video guys i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you on the next muscle talk with jason remember excuses don't build muscle